Hi, this is Tess Rioff from the Belgian black metal band Serpent's Oath. And you are listening to the Bloodshed with the Vampire on Metal Messiah Radio International. Tess, it's a great honor to have you back on the Bloodshed with the Vampire on Metal Messiah Radio International. Indeed, it's been some time. It's fantastic to be back. Tess, I remember, Matt, a couple of years ago, when we yes. talked about Unorthodox, this great release 2015 from Insanity Reign Supreme. How are things since we last met, Tess? And are you still part of Insanity Reign Supreme? Well, what has happened since then, obviously, uh, is that I started the band uh, Serpent's Oath. And I think for the time being, Insanity Reign Supreme is on hold. Will anything ever happen again? Who knows? Say never, say never. But obviously, all the focus is now on Serpent's Oath. That has total priority. It's a band very close to my heart. It's something that I needed to do that's been growing for years. And then I met up with the right people. Okay, okay, okay. Don't reveal too much. I have those questions coming. Yes, but you mean to say since you guys last released this great album, Unorthodox. Yes, and it was not the only one. I mean, I'm talking about Cool Susi Isanus, The Mass, yes. so Prophecy of Dooms and Darkness Drown, The Land Divine. I mean, so many albums that you guys have put out for us to enjoy for the world. When do you see? I mean, I know you are very busy you now with Serpent Notes, but do you have any idea when will we expect something of insanity reign supreme again to be honest no i don't actually have an idea i don't even know if there will ever be anything else by insanity reign supreme i wouldn't count it out at the moment but what i'm doing now in serpents of really consumes all my time and effort and hence currently there is nothing left for me to put in to insanity reign supreme so we'll see if if anything will ever happen again but for sure don't expect anything for the next couple of years let's just uh, cross the finger that's <laughs> Yes. Okay, to continue what we are here for and talking about, yes, this great band, Serpent Out, Pledge in Blood, Will and Power. Newcomers Serpent Out are diabolical tree headed beast hailing from Belgium, here to spread the word of uh, the horned one. Yeah, and uh, my gun is true, obscene of care, fronted by you, Tess, veteran uh, Black and Doomster of the band we just talked about, the Sanity Ring Supremes. Serpent Out played brutal mid range beat per minute black metal, immersed in hellfire and cold, grim darkness when and how has this idea started and whom else are part of the lineup i guess something was brewing for a longer time within me that i needed to release and express but i had to really find the right people to connect with not just on a musical level but had the same vision and passion for this music as well so when i did meet up with dragul on drums and Danem on guitar as soon as we started creating some music together we realized it was a totally different beast and in that moment i knew that okay this was the birth of serpent's oath so we decided to let everything that the three of us have done in the past just leave that behind us and totally focus on this and i guess really in earnest it started probably about 18 months ago writing the music and then recording the album finding the label and launching it so it obviously takes some time before it's released and it could have probably been released a bit earlier but due to corona it was postponed a bit then still was launched in december of 2020 well and it's out now there in the world there's as you just said a night hill this was released on december 4 2020 brought a deep and a brainy concept the transformation of individual who strive to become a transhuman with the ultimate goal of winning that the philosophical transhuman them address mercifully in the lyrics alone makes the album nihil unique first sign coming from this brand new formation was the track speaking in tongues leviathan speaks and the maledictions there's yeah taken in consideration restrictions it possible to do anything special 
for the release of the band's debut album? It was indeed very difficult because obviously normally what you would do when launching it, do a release show or even a couple of shows to support it. And now that wasn't a possibility at all. As I mentioned earlier, there was even a chance to release it even before that. We waited some time, but at some point we said, okay, now release it because you don't know what's going to be in, in six months' time. Uh, so, so better to just uh, bring it out in the world. Nothing has done, I mean, even online, and not special for that particular date. Nothing special for that particular date, except, of course, what we put online digitally. So also we did the full stream of the album, what's available on the 4th of December on Black Metal Promotions, which mm-hmm. has been received fantastically. It's already gotten over 35,000 views on YouTube. So everything we did or what we could do was focused on digitally, but we didn't want to do any, let's say, live performance, which is just streaming online, because in our opinion, that totally fails the concept of any interaction you have with your fans, with your listeners. So from the very beginning, it is something that we decided against and said, okay, it's doesn't feel right for us, so we're not going to do that. Uh, yes. Is there anything you'd like to share with us about the three singles that you guys have decided to become the promotional videos for this release? Yes, it's never an easy task, of course, when you've finished an album to then pick out which are going to be the singles, the first pieces that you want people to listen to, especially when you start a new band so people have never heard anything before so in the end what we made was three songs that are very different between each other so they show different aspects musically of the band but also lyrically they represent the most important themes so that's why we wanted to share them as well we started with speaking in tongues to give the listeners the best, let's say, idea of what the total album was going to be. And then we did two very different ones, Leviathan Speaks and Malediction, so you could get an idea of what the diversity of the album is like. But then in the end, we the full stream is also online, so people can actually listen to the entire album to discover the rest as well, because besides those three singles, there's still a lot of gems on the album that people can then discover. Okay, talking about the album, I mean, the Black Arts for the artwork of Nihil were performed by the hands of Nestor Avalos, known for his work with bands like Dark Funeral and Bloodbath, etc. Great artwork done by this great Mexican artist, influenced by the occult and magic, characterized by a strong symbolism where the spirits and the character of the devil test our mind. How did you get in touch with uh, Nestor Avalos for this great artwork, um, Tess? I've known Nestor for uh, several years now, and we just have a fantastic connection, uh, not just on the musical front, but as you said, his artwork and actually his personal life is very much deeply uh, seeped in with the occult and magic I think there is where we have the link, where we have a similar vision. So we always got along fantastically. So I knew when this new project came along, the new band, that he was the right man for the job to make sure that visually as well, we could represent the entire idea behind it. And I must say, we are so, so, so satisfied with the result of what he has made. It's truly a fantastic piece of art and a great representation, actually, of what we stand for and what the album talks about. Because basically, (laughs) what you can see there is uh, the war in heaven. But this time around, it is actually Lucifer who wins and who kicks out Michael, the archangel, out of heaven. So it's it's a complete, fantastic representation of the rebellion, but with a very different outcome. But um, for us, it is the most perfect representation of free will, which is definitely one of the focus points on the album. I must, yes, and my greetings as well uh, to Star Avalos, which is 
a good friend of mine as well. I really, really admire and respect his work. But with all those respect to Nasser, I mean, going back to what was the artwork done for, yeah, for a couple of albums done by mm-hmm. Yusuf. Reign Supreme, that's why have you not used the service of a septic flash frontman, Sep Zero Anton, who did, as I said, stunning artwork for Insanity, Reign Supreme. Indeed, I've worked with Sep Zero Anton a couple of times, and as well there, fantastic cooperation, he really has the gift for bringing nightmares to life. So it really suited very well to what I was doing at the time. But A, I wanted to make very clear that this is a very different entity that really stands on its own. And also it needed a very different approach visually as well to represent what it's all about. And I think that is where Nestor has done an amazing job to really capture that spirit. Okay, very great. I love the cover artwork, I must say. There's Nihil, the beast that was unleashed on December 4th, 2020 through the Dodge Soul Cell record. How was the deal done between the band and Soul Cell Records? And uh, yes, how is the label supporting going uh, three months after the album has been released? We are really happy, actually, with the cooperation with Soul Cellar Records because they've totally respected us as an artist, which means that they have given us a lot of freedom in creating this release. What does that mean? Just look at the vinyl edition, how much passion has gone into that with gold foil printing, a special lyric sheet, a different inner cover, and not just let's say, on the specifications, but also on the entire idea because Nestor did two fantastic covers for us. So the idea from the beginning for the vinyl edition was to print both on the vinyl. So basically people could choose whichever cover they would prefer. But that could only work if there is no real front of the vinyl edition, which means normally when you've got an album, you have very clear a cover and the backside is cluttered with all the boring stuff like barcodes, legal lines, label logos and what have you. So at the beginning, we pitched the idea to Soul Seller Records and said, okay, we don't want anything like that on the outside. So there's no barcode, there's no legal lines. There is no logo of the label, uh, which is the main thing, but they really supported us and they said, yeah, we really like that idea, do it like that. And for a label to agree that their logo is not on the outside, I think just shows you how supportive they are and how much freedom they've given us. So we are really happy about the cooperation. Luckily, Soul Sellers also really happy about it because obviously giving a new band Although we are veterans in the scene, but still it's a new band. Giving them a chance with a release like this is always tricky, but they're really happy with the results and the response, which means that for sure we will do a second album with Soul Seller Records as well. Very great to hear.
As I just said, Nihil was released on December 4th via SoulServe Records. Is there anything you want to describe about uh, this uh, great release, Tess? Well, from our side, we really poured our very essence into the release. We, we gave it our all and we had a unified vision of what we wanted to achieve as well and what it stood for. And basically, indeed, apart from the theme of free will, it also has the transhumanism in focus, which means that you rise above your limitations of being human, which means also that actually you don't just accept death. So the idea of rebellion goes a lot further than even something that which most people would see as a given, you don't accept to take it just that step further. And this is represented in the lyrics, in the artwork, but also in the music. We made sure that there's always, there's lots of intensity on the music. It never slows down. It really grips you by the neck and drags you forward. And that's something I believe that we really managed to do. And what we see is that fans really appreciate as well. And they've really accepted this release with open arms. Sure, I believe a great album with 12 tracks. I had this great opportunity to sit down and listen to this masterpiece. And from start, I'm talking about Vox Mortis up to the last song of this great album, Beyond the Gates. I have enjoyed this album in its entirely death. Well, that's indeed great to hear. We really want to make a complete package. And it's meant to be listened from front to back to take you on that journey. And that's also why it ends with Beyond the Gates, because basically the last song opens those gates that will lead into the second release. <laughs> okay, the album was conjured at the renowned stage one studio with Andy Klassen, who also worked with Belfagor, Legion of the Damned, and many, many more as the master of ceremony. This time you repeat with the winner team, as you did with Insanity Ring Supremes, how was everything gone with Andy Klassen at Stage One Studio? Yeah, Andy is just such a fantastic professional. He's incredible to work with because he really makes sure that he gets out the really best of you to make just the release that bit more special. And this time round, it was even more so because he admitted that the music is exactly what he likes as well. It really was up his alley. So we actually spent a, a lot more time and effort in it as well than, than usually and made sure that we've ended up with an amazing release, an amazing sound from him. We couldn't have been more prouder. And during that process, he really was like an extra member of the band giving in ideas and as I said making sure that he knows where the limit is so he'll always push you to it and that is then something that subconsciously as a listener you will always pick up from a release where people give it their all and he's just uh, fantastic at being able to to get that from you. Tess, your album Nihil has been nominated for the Album of the Year in the annual contest Dark Music Awards 2020 of Terra Relica and have been chosen as the best black metal album 2020 by Metal SV. And yes, many, many, many other great reviews as well. How did you yeah. guys felt or still feels about this? Uh, it's... Truly amazing, actually. Obviously, we're very uh, satisfied with the result ourselves, but then it's still unclear how other people will react to it. And for it to have received these nominations is just incredible. And actually, to be voted Best Black Metal Album of the Year, I mean, if you see what fantastic releases there have been in the year, it's just amazing that we then ended up at the top of the list so we couldn't have dreamt for a better reception of the album. It's, it's incredible. It's something that you, you couldn't even hope for. Yeah, it's, it's to see what you've put in to be received like that is just a reward in itself. It's fantastic to see and motivates you to push even further. You know, even though, yes, your 
first sign for this great new album was released around four months ago on my top album of 2020 me the vampire I have decided not to add Nihil on the list because I believe it the album was too fresh the album was too young and I wanted to give this album one more year so I believe for what's gonna be my top 50 for the best dark metal albums of 2021 Nihil will be on a higher spot on this great top 50 list. Thank you. Yes. Oh, thank you. That's, that's great to hear. And indeed, it is a bit of a danger when you release an album in December, the last month of the year. Yeah. Will it still be counted towards the releases of that year or people taking it with them in 2021? So, but it's great to hear that for you as well, it will end up high in your top list for 2021. And so that's fantastic to hear. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> it didn't die with 2020. No, you, luckily. Yeah. <laughs> you will still have a long way to go, Tess. Yes. Yes, for sure. For sure. Yeah. <laughs> okay. To continue this great interview, I mean, uh, yes, yeah, Song Festival 2021. I mean, as uh, already announcing their consolation which, uh, you know, I really feel really sad and about this. I yes. can't imagine another year without uh, shows, without festivals. I mean, are you guys planning into to support this great new album, Nihil? Uh, I mean, with all these cancellation and restrictions. Yes, it's difficult indeed because everything that we've already had planned has been postponed. So at the beginning, you've got hopes that it will change soon but i think it's been clear that it's not going to be soon so we'll just have to wait and we feel that by it sounds a long time away but still it's probably very realistic by the end of the year that at least the club shows will be able to start up again and that's then when we'll be ready to really we can't wait to bring this album live because it's something that has to be experienced life as well, that intensity, and that's what we what we want to bring to the people as well. So uh, that's what we've got planned. We already have shows booked, but who knows what will happen, of course. But from the very beginning, we've made uh, also a decision that if it is going to be shows where people have to be sitting down with mouth mask at two meters spread from each other, we said, okay, if it's under those circumstances, we will not play a show like that. Because for us, that's just not metal. That's not black metal. That's not how you can enjoy that music. So either it will be a full show, a proper concert that people can enjoy, or we won't do it at all. We don't want to do things half. So okay. uh, we'll wait until the circumstances are right uh, for that and then obviously we will support it live. There's nothing more that we want to do than that. Sure, understood. I mean, it's it would be so sad. Can I say this? I mean, uh, if I have to just sit down there and without moving far away yeah. from France and to see you guys playing. I mean, how can I hold myself sitting there on the chair? I mean, indeed, <laughs> indeed, it it just wouldn't work. It just wouldn't work. Now the advantage for us is that we've been using this time to make sure that we've got a full lineup for playing live as well, that we bring those guys up to speed, that they really rehearse their asses off to make sure that when we've got the opportunity, we stand there with a the full lineup and can bring this music to the people. Their rebellious debut album Night Hill has taken the world by storm with its relentless and unforgiven mix of a nihilistic black metal. How are the album sales going so far, Tess? And for those that has not buy the album as yet, in how many formats are there still available? It's been fantastic, better than we've ever hoped for all of us have been playing in a band. I mean, when we compare it to all of the bands that we've played in before, we've never had a result like this. So response has been fantastic. And since people can't go anywhere, they've really been supporting us with buying both the album and the merchandise. At the moment, what you can still get, there's a digipack version available. And on vinyl, you've got a black version and a gold splatter version. And the gold splatter version, as a band, we're down. And actually, the label as well, we're down to the last box. So we have got 15 
of these copies left and the label as well has only 15 of these copies left so anybody interested in the vinyl edition and the gold splatter edition then uh, they should get it now because it will be uh, sold out uh, pretty soon that's i want to thank you very much for having made this interview possible and i want to hand you over the microphone of madame messiah radio for you to invite all your friends all your fans to support the band buy the band's brand new album night hill which was released December 4, 2020 via the Prestige Soul Seller Records. But before we leave, that my last question, yes, before we end this great interview, how about merch? Well, there we've taken the same approach as with the entire release, actually. We've really made some extraordinary items of high quality. So apart from T-shirts and uh, girly and an amazing hoodie, You can actually also get patches, large back patches, and also metal pins to wear. So uh, be sure to check out our website, which is serpentsof.com, and you'll uh, see everything that we have to offer there. And we're really proud of what we've done there as well. So check it out. It's really worth it. Okay, one question. I'm talking about T-shirts. You mean the T-shirt comes with a new cover artwork on or there's another artwork for the T-shirt? It is actually the T-shirt has the artwork of the Digipack on it. The girly has the artwork of the vinyl edition so the second art piece of the vinyl edition on it and the hoodie has a, a combination because it also carries prints of the symbols and the logo on it as well so uh, it's a bit of a mix but basically it is what you can find on the release is also available in merch wow that's great to hear it is very clever and very unique thank you <laughs> <laughs> That's the microphone of Madame Sai of Radio International is all yours to thank whomever you want to thank. First of all, thank you, the Vampire and Metal Messiah International Radio, to give us the opportunity to talk about our album and promote it. It's actually through uh, stations like this that we have the opportunity to reach out and more people can find out about the band, which, especially in these times, is the support that we need. Obviously, a big thanks to all the fans who have supported us already. It means a lot to us. It's, it's really what keeps us going. And for people who haven't heard it yet, we would say uh, go and check out the music. You can find it online. There's the singles that are available or even a full album stream on YouTube. Uh, have a listen to us. And uh, if it is something that you like, go ahead and support us. Okay, uh, Tess, once again, I want you to say hello to Demon for me. Say hello to Dragul for me. Yeah. Yes, I want to thank you, I mean, for accepting this interview. I mean, before we leave, I like to, I remember meeting you at, it was an Age Over Matter meeting in 2018. You was there, right? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, Long I time was... ago, but it feels now. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I was there and I saw you. I recognized you and I said, I'm going to say hello to you. And you disappeared among the crowd, you know, it was so crowded. It was so dark too, I mean. Yes. I couldn't see you again. I mean, I was so sad that, you know, I really want to have a beer with you, but couldn't find you no more. I mean, I was there the two nights. I was at two or three nights. I was there the whole festival. Very great uh, festival again done by friend Roman also uh, every year. Yeah. So great. I hope they will still be able to do it for 2021 for this year. Well, they've got the best chances because it's at the end of the year. So if any festival has an opportunity to uh, still go ahead, it will be them. And I really hope so as well, because it is an amazing festival. It's, a, I think, a fantastic location, very well organized, always have a great lineup. And we've played there in the past as well with different bands. It's also fantastic how they treat you as an artist. So, uh, yeah, I really hope that uh, it goes through because uh, it would be fantastic, not just to play live, but just to go and visit again, enjoy um, metal music. Seeing that the festivals, is, at least for the first part of the year, are already canceling, even some summer festivals already canceled. Yeah. And I hope I can still catch Eindhoven Metal Meet uh, this December 2021. At least, I mean, I can drain all my sadness my sorrow everything that I <laughs> yes. in the last few years there <laughs> yeah 
Indeed, it would be a fantastic plan. I look forward to do it very much myself. So I really hope that it could go through. It would be at least a uh, fantastic end to uh, a pretty difficult year. So Yeah, we might uh, see each other there. <laughs> and then we will definitely have that beer. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, there's... Uh... I want to thank you, thank you very much once again. I want to wish you all the best for this great new band, for the new album, Nihil. Yes, hoping this COVID is over to see you guys on the road pretty soon, okay? Yes. Well, thank you very much as well, my friend, for the support. And yeah, it would be fantastic if we can meet up live there as well. And then we definitely have a beer for sure. <laughs> like I always say, metal on. Bye bye. <laughs> Very good. Okay. Bye bye.